Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video today is all about baby food recipes to help with constipation. My name is Suzette Fairbank. If you're new here, welcome. And if you've been here, welcome back. This channel is all about baby food and toddler food making. Recipe number one is prunes puree. I basically have about 20 pieces of prunes and I'm gonna be simmering it with a cup of filtered water. You don't have to simmer this for long, just simmer it for about 8 to 10 minutes and let it all cool off before blending. I won't slow down I'm strolling down the street With all of my favorite songs on repeat I'm dancing through Everything's about to come my way And I don't care if you spill coffee on me Or if the sky is gray or blue Second recipe is pear puree I just cut this up in little cubes and left the skin to get the maximum benefit of pears as a laxative, it is very important to leave the skin on due to its high fiber content. And not only for the fiber, but it's also packed with a lot more nutrients and minerals. I won't slow down <laughs> Yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down Next one is apple and ginger. Just like the pear, I just cut this up in little cubes and left the skin. I normally use fresh ginger root with this recipe, but I'm out of it today, so I'm just using ginger juice. This is pure ginger juice that I use with my ginger tea. There's no extra ingredients whatsoever, so it's perfectly fine to use this one. Add a cup of water and simmer for about five minutes or until soft. I won't slow down. I am on my way. I won't slow down. This recipe is not just great for babies, but we also use this around the house as a regular applesauce. Blowing smoke everywhere around. I've been searching, but I can't seem to find someone that can hold me through the night. Next one is oats, quinoa, and prunes. With this one, you don't have to add the quinoa. I just decided to do this for extra oomph of fiber, but it's totally, totally optional. The prunes also acts as more of a sweetener. You can certainly add more if you want it to be a little more sweeter. I use half cup of oats, one fourth cup of quinoa, and two cups of water but you can add more water if you feel like that the consistency is becoming really thick Send me off with the words of a blend according to your consistency liking I've been trying to make sense of it If you're curious about these jars, you can visit preppybaby.com as well as on Instagram at preppy.baby where there's a daily post of baby food recipes as well as Stadler food recipes. Yeah. 
Next one is your plain good old fashioned sweet potato puree. With this one, I normally would like to put a little bit of coconut oil for added benefits as well as for healthy fats. Um, this one I'm just gonna cook a lot for my whole family but I'm only gonna puree a little bit. Spread them evenly on your cookie sheet and bake at 380 degrees for about 40 to 45 minutes. Send me off with the words of a lullaby. This is a favorite snack around our house. It's not only great for babies, it's also great for toddlers because it's easy for them to pick little cubes and it's soft enough that they won't choke, as well as it's perfect for a side dish with your lunch or dinner. So perfect, try right I'll count to ten, then open up my eyes. If you're gone, I'll take it as a sign. But if you'll stay, then baby, hold me tight and send me off. If you're enjoying this video, please hit the thumbs up. And if you're interested in more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button and I post videos like this once a week. Last but not the least is papaya. This is an instant laxative. I have time and time again have noticed that if my son eats papaya, he goes right away and it's just like your magic pill when it comes to laxative. And there you have it. I hope you find this video useful and enjoyed it. And I hope to see you on my next video next week. And don't forget to check out these other videos on my channel. And if you have any ideas about recipes that you want me to try, please comment down below and I'd be so happy to look at them and try them out myself. See you next time!